Now we move to the major classes of organic molecules found within a cell. The first major class is called carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are sugars and starches. They have the general formula CH2O. N just means N is a multiplier. N is between 3 and 6. So you can have C3H6O3, C4H8O4, so on and so forth. Carbohydrates are a very, very important energy source for your body. They are used in short-term energy use. Um, the biggest source of energy in your body comes from a molecule called glucose, which is a sugar shown here. But this is the major source of energy for your body. This is what all your cells use to create energy. There are a couple of different types of sugars. You have a monosaccharide, which is a single sugar. Glucose is an example of a monosaccharide. You have disaccharides, which are two individual monosaccharides combined. For example, table sugar is called sucrose, which consists of one molecule of glucose and one molecule of fructose. Polysaccharides are large molecules composed of a bunch of different monosaccharide units. Starch is a polysaccharide of glucose molecules, and starches contain hundreds and hundreds of molecules of glucose all bound together. The next class are called lipids. These are fats and fat-like substances. If you've ever watched Austin Powers, you will understand what I drew there. But his name is, well, I don't think I'm allowed to say what his name is on this video. Anyways, fats are, um, lipids are involved in long-term energy storage. They are also involved in structure and messengers such as hormones. Lipids are generally insoluble in water. When a molecule is insol insoluble in water, it is called hydrophobic. But anyways, this is an example of a fatty acid. As you can see here, you have a carboxyl group right here, and then a long chain of carbons and hydrogens. This is called palmitic acid. Another example of a lipid would be cholesterol, which is a steroid. You can see here, steroids usually have this structure, a couple of rings, and some methyl groups, a hydroxyl group right here. And most steroids act as hormones. Cholesterol is found in your cellular membranes. And an actual lipid molecule is an alcohol and a fatty acid. Most lipids are triglycerols. Glycerol is this molecule right here. It's got three alcohols on it. And attached to those three alcohols will be three fatty acid chains, chains excuse me, such as palmitic acid. Next we have proteins, which are involved in control and structure. Most proteins are going to be enzymes or biological catalysts. Proteins are composed of what are called amino acids. You can see here you have your amino group right here and then a carboxyl, carboxylic acid group right here. The R is what is called a side chain. All amino acids have the same backbone. They are differentiated by their side chain. Amino acids come together to form what are called polypeptides, and amino acids are joined what are called a peptide bond, what is called a peptide bond. Whenever they come together, they are joined at the N terminus and the C terminus. They come together and a water is lost, and then they form this peptide bond. Whenever I explain advanced biochemistry, if I ever get that far, then you'll learn a lot more about that. The last class of organic compounds are nucleic acid. These are composed of nucleotides, which consist of a sugar, a nitrogenous base, and a phosphate. The sugar is going to be either ribose or deoxyribose, which are five carbon sugars. I'll talk about the differences between those whenever I go into genetics later. But the four, excuse me, five bases are adenine, thymine, cytosine, guanine, and uracil. Nucleic acids are responsible for passing heredity information from one generation to another. They are involved in protein synthesis and energy transfer. Energy transfer, excuse me. 
DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. This is the main molecule responsible for contain like, responsible for passing heredity information on. RNA is involved in protein synthesis and energy transfer molecules. You have ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate, contains the molecule adenine, and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, which also contains the molecule adenine. And both of these contain the sugar ribose. But that's all I have for biochemistry and organic chemistry right now.